Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Mountain Off-Road Enterprises High to Step in Black, fitting all 2020 and newer Gladiator JTs. So this is going to be great for the Gladiator owner who's looking for a very simple way to get a boost up into their truck, especially if your Gladiator is lifted. Now, this is going to be great for you as well as your passengers to help accessibility and for somebody who wants a drop down step to help them get in and out of their truck but does not want to commit to a full side step. Now most drop down steps hang pretty low and you won't be able to flip them up and out of the way when you're not using them which if you're concerned about when you're going off road if you're concerned about that clearance this is going to be more up your alley in comparison to a step that can't be flipped up. This will even be great if you have the factory ruby rails or even an aftermarket look-alike of a ruby rail on your Jeep already and you want to keep them, you're not looking to part with them, um, but you still also need a boost up into your truck and are looking for something that's going to be compatible with them. Now the step itself is very low profile. So as you can see here, we have the upper bracket and the lower bracket, and then we have the step portion. And this is going to tuck high up and tight to your pinch weld area, but at full droop, this will lower the step up point about 11 inches, which is substantial, especially if your truck is lifted. Now, this can also easily be removed from the bracket. So if you're going off-roading, if you know you're going to be sliding those ruby rails on any rocks and you wanna make sure for certain that this is out of the way and doesn't get any damage uh, to it, you can easily take the step off of the bracket and leave this part of the bracket mounted up onto the pinch well, which is going to be more out of the way than the step would. Now the step is also easily removable. This does include two pins in the kit that connect the bracket as well as the step together. I do like that because if you know you're going off-roading, if you know you're gonna be using those ruby rails and sliding around and you want to completely prevent any damage to the step, even though it does sit very low profile, um, you can just easily take the pins out, just like that, and take the bracket off of the step. Um, now I do have two pins here, one was installed, you have to fully assemble it on the Gladiator, um, but I just wanted to show you how easy this is and I do really like that about this kit. It makes it very hassle free and it gives you a little bit of an option when it comes to going off road and the step in general. Now I would like to mention that this will only come with one step in the kit, but it's going to be able to be mounted at any point on the pinch weld um, underneath any door. So if you're the driver and you want this for yourself, you can mount it under the front door uh, or you can mount it under the front passenger or either of the back ones, uh, depending if you want ones for your kids, uh, since they are littler and getting them up into the Jeep can be a little bit difficult or you're just looking for the accessibility for yourself. Diving a little bit deeper into the construction, this is gonna have a steel construction with zinc plating and a black powder coat finish. That's gonna be good at resisting any rusting or any corrosion on the metal. And I like that the step is a black powder coat finish. It'll match with any other black accessories that you have on your truck already. And I also like the fact that this is going to be a pretty small step. However, it is gonna be a nice size to get in and out of the Jeep. Um, so it's not going to be insanely big, it's keeping that low profile effect, but it is gonna give you a nice stepping surface here. And it's also going to have dimples on the step itself. So some of these dimples are gonna be raised, some of them are going to be going the opposite direction. Now the raised dimples are going to give you some extra traction in those wetter days, or if you're out on the trail, you have mud on your boot or your shoe, um, you're getting in and out and you want that extra traction, this is gonna help you there. Now the ones that are going in the opposite direction will help with drainage, so uh, no snow, rain, or anything is going to sit on the step and puddle up. Um, that will allow it to escape underneath the step here. So overall, I do really like that out of the step. However, I would keep in mind, it does say it in the instructions. Just make sure you are a little bit careful or you take care when stepping up on this in wetter situations. That powder coat here is pretty fine, so it can be slick. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's what those raised dimples are there for. Um, but overall, a solid kit. I personally really like the construction and I like the features too. Now also, just to note, this is gonna come with two bumpers here. Um, that is going to prevent the bracket from hitting metal on metal and causing any rattling when you do have this flipped up and out of the way. Um, and also, speaking of rattling and making sure that this is secure, it's going to have a pretty heavy loaded spring here um, to make sure that this is all good to go when it's mounted up to your Gladiator. 
Now when we're taking a look at price, this will be roughly in the $175 range and honestly, in my opinion, in the right application, it's definitely worth the money. Now the features that really stand out here are the fact that it's very easily removable and you can very easily flip this up when you don't want it hanging down in the way or you don't have to use it. Now if you are looking for a set of these, if you're looking for one for each of your doors, it's probably going to roughly cost you the same as a drop down side step, but when it comes to those steps, they're not going to offer you the easy flip up and easy removal, especially if you don't want them hanging in the way, if you know that it's going to cause some issues, if you plan on taking your Jeep off-roading, as where this is going to give you no hassle at all, and even if you want to take that extra precaution, take that step off, it's going to be very easy to do. Uh, not to mention, if you have the Ruby rails, if you don't want to part with those, if you're looking for a step that's going to be compatible with that, um, and you, again, don't want a drop down step besides one that can flip up and tuck up against those ruby rails, this is going to be a great option to take a look into. Now when it comes to install, I'm going to give this a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about 30 minutes with some basic hand tools to get the job done. Those hand tools are going to include a 13 and 10 millimeter socket as well as a ratchet, a 5 millimeter Allen socket or Allen key. You also may need an extension. Now you will need a block of wood to make sure that this is compressed a little bit to help you get the step on and depending on your personal preference, a piece of tape to protect the paint. Now, speaking of the install, one of our customers here has installed this on his JT, and he is going to walk you through all of these steps of the install. That wraps it up for my review. Let's go ahead and get into the installation process. Okay, tools we used today. We used 13 millimeter socket or wrench, 10 millimeter socket or wrench. The deep well does work better for those longer bolts. I did use an impact to get the bolts off. Simple ratchets would work just fine. The button head bolt that they supply in the kit needs a Allen wrench, and this is an HW5 from my tool set. I did use a block of wood to compress that spring a little bit so it was easier to get up in there. Some black tape to help protect the paint. Hi, today I'm gonna to install the mountain off-road height step. Included in this kit is the bracket that holds the step and bolts to the vehicle. We've got the step itself, and we've got a hardware packet, which includes the pull pins and some nuts and bolts. Let's uh, get started. Okay, so the instructions tell you to take this bolt out. This is where the step is gonna mount. And these two uh, nuts on those bolts, go ahead and take those out off completely. And then on the other four, the other three, mounting positions uh, just to loosen. So we're gonna try that first and once we get that done, we'll continue. Okay, so the instructions say now that everything's loosened up, you should be able to 
get this bracket slid up underneath, up on top of the uh, mounting point on the rock rail. So we'll kind of wedge that in there and get it, get it shoved in there now. The option in the plant and the instructions is to uh, go ahead and take everything out to be able to just remove the rock rail or at least get it out of the way. And I think that's probably gonna be the best option. I did cut, it did mention something about a uh, two by two piece of wood that you can wedge in behind here so that, so you can get this bracket sprung in there. I am gonna do that and I'm also going to protect this edge on these from scratching the, the frame. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a piece of black tape on these ends just to kind of protect all the paint and everything down there. And then I'm gonna use this block of wood and I am actually going to get that into the position where I can actually get it up in there. And I'm gonna use this block of wood to kind of wedge it. So I got that so I can get this up in there and hopefully, hopefully be able to uh, get all this tightened up. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rock rail, all the rest of the nuts and bolts, and get it loosened up so I can maneuver it. In the front down there, quick here. One thing to point out is the instructions do say that you're gonna pry this down a little bit and it makes sense because the thickness of the bracket is gonna be up in there. So if you pry on it and bend it down a little bit, it's gonna work out fine when you put it back together. So I've got all the bolts and nuts out. I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'll get the front out a little first. Hope. I'm just going to kind of let that rest a little bit. Don't get all... so I get... Okay, so I've got it out. It's held in the back. I'm going to try to get the holes lined back up. There we go. So. Really all there is left now is to get that block of wood out of there and we'll be able to push the bracket to the pinch seam on the bottom. Right now the block of wood is holding the rock rail from uh, allowing the bracket to go all the way in. I'm gonna get eight bolts started in here. One of these so it doesn't come down on the head. When that's down like that, it binds a little bit. Doesn't make it want to go. I don't seem to want to. That's what I'm having a problem with is trying to get this side. This side is pretty well flush. I can get it flush over here, but I can't get this side to get it to go in all the way may have to use the nuts to do that. Okay. 
So the top bolt won't go in yet because I don't have the holes lined up. We've got to get the bracket in all the way. Yeah, you get this uh, Allen headed button head bolt and a fender washer and you'll use that up in here. Uh, this bolt, being that the washer is kind of stuck where it is, is very hard to get around the uh, spring mechanism. Looks to me like. Well, you can, but so this bolt, trying to get a socket on it with the spring mechanism is a little tight. So. That's why they include this one. And on that note, with the hardware kit, there is a package of nuts and bolts and washers that if you did not have the rock rails, then you would use those bolts and washers and nuts to attach this because you wouldn't have the studs coming through from the rock rail. Get this bolt up in there. I'm just gonna, not even really gonna snug it up. I'm just gonna get it in there. What I'm gonna do is bolt everything else down. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit of a gap right here, and that's from the thickness of that bracket. So once we get everything in place, that's what I'm gonna do all three of the other mounting points first, tighten them down, and then I'll tighten this one down last. Sure the rock rail is sucked into the body before I tighten the, the bigger bolts up top. So I'm gonna put all these nuts on and kind of get down a snug. Make sure everything's pulled in.
Go ahead and run these up, the main bolts. Not gonna really torque them yet, so I know what I'm at. So this is the bolt I was talking about, right there. I'm getting, trying to get this one up in there and actually still have room because of this pin right here. It's gonna be a little difficult. So we'll use what they supply. Okay, got everything tight. So we are going to work on installing the pins and the stuff. That one. So now I need to take tape off so that I can get to those holes right there. Okay, everything's tight, step is on, installed, and I'm going to let it down and we'll show you how it works. Okay, test her out, see how it works. about it. So that's going to wrap it up for my review and install on the Mountain Off-Road Enterprises High to Step in Black, getting all 2020 and newer Gladiator JTs. For more reviews and install videos just like this, remember to always keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.